Hello everyone, my name is Sagar Prachapati and in this video I will be solving one of the most important SQL question. So if you don't know me then I create a videos on SQL, Python, Databricks and so on and if you haven't watched my SQL interview series then I would suggest that go and watch this series completely and then come to this video. You can see like I have uploaded around 26 questions which is highly highly demanded question in any of the interview. Uh, okay, so chalo, let's get started for today's video. You can see here this is a question and I opened this data lima website and here the question name is compressed mean Alibaba SQL interview question and here you can see they have given one table called items per table items per order and this is the schema item count integer and order occurrences integer and then we have this kind of dummy data now what they are asking is that you are trying to find the mean number of items bought per order on Alibaba rounded to one decimal place. However, instead of doing analytics on all Alibaba orders, you have access to a summary table which describes how many items were in an order item count and the number of orders that had that many times order occurrences. Okay, now you can see we have this item item count uh, uh, item count column and we have this 1, 2, 3, 4 value and this order occurrences we have these many values. Now you can see here there are 5, 500 orders with one item in each order, 1000 orders with two items in each order, eight, eight, 800 orders with three items in each order. Okay. Now you can see the example output is 2.7. Explanation is total items is 1 into 500, 2 into 1000, 3 into 800 and 4 into uh, 1000. Then what they are doing? Total order they are calculating based on fifth, like you know the multiplication of this 500, uh, 2000. This should be 2000. Two okay then this should be oh sorry so the total order should be like 500 the, the sum of this the sum of this uh, column okay and then they are calculating the mean simple right so you can see what they are doing they are just multiplying this so they are doing something a2 into what b2 right they are doing this You can see the sum is 8900 and then they are doing the sum of this 30, 3300. Okay, and then what they are doing? They are just uh, calculating the uh, I mean division of it, right? We can also do that. So in order to do that, what I will do? They are doing the sum, right? So first I will do sum of sum of item underscore count into order into occurrences okay i'll write like this again okay let me run this the output is one nine one one nine one nine zero so we have calculated total items till now now we need to find out total orders so what they are doing they are just summing off the second column so here I will write sum of order occurrences which is 4960 so we all we also calculated this column this uh, total orders now what I need to do I need to calculate the mean the mean is total item divided by total orders so simply do a division and run this we got the output 3 okay here you can see they have mentioned that you are trying to find the mean number of items 
bought per order on rounded to one decimal place. So what we can do here? We can do this round round function and we can give one like the place. So I am giving one because they mentioned one decimal place. Run this. You can see the output is 3.0. Cool. When I submit it, we will see. Your query output doesn't match with the solution output. 3.0 expected is 3.9. Now why this happened? We will show you. So let me comment this. Let me comment this query. Now actually what is happening is that you can notice that you know this item count is integer and this order occurrence it is in integer format. So let's say I am writing here 20 divided by 5. When if I write, uh, if I try to run the code then you can see the output is 4 which is correct. Right. But what if if I try to divide the 20 by 3 the output should be 6 point 6 point 3 3 something something right right. But the output is coming is 6. So it is rounding off. It is rounding off. It is rounding off. Right. That's why we have to put here multiply 1.0 or we can cast this value as a decimal. So once I done this then you can see we, uh, we are getting the 6.66 value which is correct. Now in order to get the correct result, in order to get the correct result, we have to multiply, we have to multiply this value with 1.0 and now run the code. Now you can see the output is 3.9 and if I submit it, then you will see it is succeeded, right? Accepted. Correct. So this is the basic question, but very important question. You know, like till till this point, this is very simple question, right? But this is the hack you, we need to multiply with 1.0 or need to convert this integer value with the, with the decimal value. Okay, so I hope you have understood this concept and if you like, please share with, please share with your friends and uh, with your colleagues or uh, over the LinkedIn so that you know everyone will get benefited. Chalo, tab tak ke liye. Bye bye. Thank you.